Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. Only the son of Nube is my name and I hope I find you still well. Uh, well, there is, for many of you, we have been following the report of uh, an impending uh, demonstration in Sada countries and in Zimbabwe ahead of the August 2024 SAD summit in which Zimbabwe is supposed to take over the chairpersonship of SATEC. You will know that one of the people who have been at the forefront of this through his Zimbabwe intercessors movement is Bishop Kevin uh, Nyamakanga. Uh, you've been following, we've posted some of his videos here where he's been speaking about the reasons for them setting up the movement and why that movement has been set up and they have insisted that this is a non-violent action movement which seeks to correct the situation in Zimbabwe. You will know that there was uh, an election in Zimbabwe last year whose results were contested by the main challenger, that is advocate Nelson Chamisa, based on a number of grievances, including the SATC election observation mission report which stated that the Zimbabwean election, the way it was conducted by the Zimbabwean Electoral Commission, did there are some uh, aspects of it which did not meet the such standards or protocols uh, on holding free and fair elections. They highlighted those uh, clearing uh, loopholes they stated that things could have been done better in Zimbabwe. So the main challenger that is advocate Nelson Chamisa, who at the time of the election was the president of the Citizens Coalition for Change, which came second to ZANU-PF in that particular election, also disputed the results of the election based on a number of issues, which included an unfair public media space, intimidation of voters by the Forever Associates of Zimbabwe, which is a group uh, made up of mainly uh, military operatives from the Zimbabwe National Army and the Central Intelligence Organizations who at some point on, on voting day or in a number of polling stations set up bases which were perceived by the opposition to be meant to intimidate voters into voting President Emerson Nangakwas ZANU PF party. So they say, that is the Zimbabwe Intercessors Movement, that they are calling or demanding dialogue between Advocate Nelson Chamisa and the incumbent, that is President Emerson Mnangakwa, to find the way forward in resolving a number of issues that have stemmed from that political uh, impasse, including the alleged disappearance of Triple uh, C supporters, the recent arrest and harassment of 77 Triple C supporters, the abductions and at some point murder of Triple C opposition, uh, of Triple C activists and officials, as well as uh, the continuing shrinking of the democratic space in Zimbabwe at the watch or under the watch of President Emerson Mnangakwa. So they say that if there can be no constructive dialogue between the two opposing parties, there must be, uh, as an alternative, a transitional authority, that they call it, a national transitional authority, which will usher in uh, some legislative changes, which will usher in a new era, a new environment that will pave way for fresh democratic elections. Failure to that, they demand fresh elections now. So they want to target a number of Southern African countries that are members of the SADC. Of course, they started with Botswana last week. We haven't yet been given uh, a clear uh, outcome of what happened in Botswana or a clear rundown of what actually happened in Botswana. Uh, then they're taking also Zambia and Zimbabwe. But now what we were told, which was very, very much uh, surprising, and uh, shocking was that the bishop, while in the middle of organizing these things and a prayer meeting for Zimbabwe, 
uh, was abducted. This was reported in a number of social media channels and a number of uh, platforms on YouTube. But now the update that we have for you is that the bishop has now issued a statement uh, disputing this uh, report that he was abducted and his statement which was written under the Zimbabwe Intercessor, Intercessors Movement uh, uh, logo or letterhead was written on the 33rd of June 2024 and I'm going to read it. It says statement from Bishop Kevin Nyamakanga, leader of Zimbabwe Intercessors Movement. Shalom to all my brethren in Christ, all intercessors, leaders, concerned citizens of our beautiful nation, Zimbabwe. A lot of people have questions on my silence regarding the peaceful march that was being planned for August by the Zimbabwe Intercessors Movement. My intention has, was to give an update to the church and all intercessors in due course. However, I have now been prompted, prompted to make this statement. There are speculations and inaccurate reporting that have been put on social media. This is now causing further distress to myself and my family. Some bloggers have even gone on to report that I was abducted and some have suggested that I was, brought, I was bought and paid a million dollars by the government. I am therefore coming to put the record straight. On Thursday the 20th of June, I received a message from state agents calling me to report in the next morning to their office for questioning. They wanted to question me about the planned August peaceful march which was being organized by the church. On Friday morning 21st, I went in for questioning escorted by my wife and my team. I was questioned about, about how we were planning to execute the August march and what our intentions were as an organization. All these questions were answered truthfully. Our intentions have never been political. However, as results of edited, exaggerated, and made-up statements by certain journalists and politicians intended to further their political agenda, I was called in for questioning by state agents. A narrative has been presented and that our planned march was intended to cause commotion and not peace. Articles have been written using my name with the intention of hijacking our peaceful march. After the meeting with the state agents, I have remained quiet as I was waiting upon the Lord and to seek spiritual advice. This assignment was a spiritual instruction, not political. I have to go back for direction from the one God that gave me the instruction. At this hour, please respect my silence. We are intercessors, not politicians. Let us continue to pray for our nation as we have been doing all along. Remember the duty of Zimbabwe Intercessors Movement is to pray for Zimbabwe. That is our mission. Let us continue to pray for Zimbabwe. May God bless Zimbabwe. Sincerely, Bishop Kevin Nyamakanga, leader of Zimbabwe Intercessors Movement. So this is the update from the bishop. He says that their, man, their mission has never been a political one, but it has always been to find peace and a lasting solution to the Zimbabwean problem or the Zimbabwean crisis. And I will be one of the first people to agree with him. He has always called for the opposition and President Emerson Nangakwa Sazanu PF party to come together and find a lasting solution to the problem in Zimbabwe, failure to which there should be a national transitional authority or fresh elections which are not going to be disputed. He has never, uh, according to what I have seen, uh, done beating for any political party but for the people. So this is what is happening right now. The problem with Zimbabwe, especially journalists, is that we tend to blow things out of proportion. We tend to twist things uh, to try and get views, to try and get uh, likes, uh, which is how we get most of our money. So we end up endangering people and we end up diverting people's uh, diverting people's missions and to uh, end up divert, uh, misleading people, let me say. And this is what the bishop is talking about. So this is where they stand now according to what he has written. There has been no clear uh, or clarity as to whether they are going to go ahead with the march 
that is before the, 20, the, the that is before August, you know there will be a Sadiq summit in Zimbabwe where Zimbabwe is supposed or expected to take over as the chair of the SAC and our president Emerson Mnangakwa is the one who is going to be chairing the regional platform from that particular meeting. So they are saying that, they were saying, in fact, from the start, that Zimbabwe cannot at this present moment, with a, 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 a log jam politically, be expected to chair the SAC uh, because Zimbabweans are suffering, Zimbabweans want to see a change of a system without even it doesn't necessarily have to be change of government but a change of the system under which Zimbabweans are living so I thought that I should come here and update you on the situation regarding the calls for fresh elections, the calls for dialogue and the calls for the National Transitional Authority which three of which are given as alternative uh, platforms or as alternative uh, ideas towards solving the Zimbabwean impasse. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it.